Hey, what's up everybody? This is Torian with TJD Graphics and I'm back with another video. I'm in Clip Studio Paint and I just wanted to walk you through uh, this uh, illustration that I did maybe about a week and a half ago. This is from um, the Demon Slayer anime. This is one of the main characters. Uh, his name is, let me make sure I get this right, is Kyojuro Rinjoku. Hopefully I said that right. Um, hopefully I didn't butcher it because I don't want all you fans to uh, like... Uh, just get at me uh, for butchering up the name, but that's, um, I think I said it right. It was Kiyojuro Rinjoku. So hopefully I said it right. So anyway, this is that character. And like I said, I drew this uh, in Clip Studio Paint about a week and a half ago. Um, posted it on my Instagram. Got a lot of good responses from it on my uh, my uh, my uh, TikTok page and uh yeah so this is that character i wanted to walk you through the process of me doing this this was totally uh on the fly i wasn't intending on making this a uh, full-fledged illustration and this is pretty much a rough illustration um yeah like i said this wasn't something that i started to do like i wanted to set out to make a an illust uh, a totally finished piece of art but it came out um looking pretty good and i wanted to do a video and kind of walk you through the process and let you see how I did this. So first off, um, over here on the layers, uh, my layer section, um, first off, the very bottom layer is a paper layer, which is the background, which is a white area right here. So here's all the layers that I have set up here from the first layer all the way up. I named all the layers except for the sketch layer, which is a, the very first layer right here. Um, and then on top of that, I have, uh, which the, uh, on top of the sketch layer, I have the paint, which is, um, kind of like the flat, the main colors. And on top of that, I'd put an orange hair, uh, layer, a red hair layer. And then I did a shadows layer and then I did black ink layer. And then I, uh, I think I did something else on one of the top layers. Yeah. On this layer four, that should be the, the, uh, the white of the eyes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through each layer and just kind of go through it and talk about it. So let's start with, let me go and click off all of these layers here. So let's click off of paint layer, the orange hair, red hair, shadows, black ink, and I think this is the whites of the eyes. So this is the initial sketch. This is it right here. So as you can see, this is really rough, really rough. Started out with my basic, um, let me click off of this. Uh, let's see, I'm just trying to get that. Nah, I'll just, I'll just leave it. But as you can see, I have my basic, um, basic, uh, face, 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 uh, layout. I did the, uh, sort of that ovalish shape. Drew my, my vertical line for the nose and the mouth. Drew my horizontal line for the eyes, where I'm going to set my eyes at. Um, and I just kind of went in and I got, actually, I printed out a, a picture of the character from the internet. Um, it was one of the JPEGs on there, one of the main JPEGs, that one of the main images on online that you can see of the character. And I, I printed it out. The only thing is it came out, for some reason, to print out landscape. It didn't print out portrait. So I, I, was, I just had, like, from here up to about up to about the top of the forehead I want to say and that's it so I had to improvise above that with just looking at the picture from pictures online and below that uh, same thing so basically like I said I just wanted to get in here and I just all I needed were the basic details which are you know the eyes was the first thing you notice are the eyes and those those really sharp points at the end of the eyelids the top eyelids then you have those really uh, pointy really distinctive eyebrows then, um, you know, I just, I went off of the shape of the nose. There wasn't much there, uh, put the, the mouth in there. Um, and just did some quick lines for where I wanted to put the hair. Cause the one thing about the hair, the hair does resemble, it's, uh, like flames and it goes with that theme because, you know, his hair is yellow, uh, orange and red, which is, you know, the color of fire when you're, um, working, you know, in art or if you see fire, you, that's the colors that you notice. Um, that's the colors that you see. That's what usually how fire is represented. Um, but yeah, so basically all I needed was just the main details. And from there I could, I could, I could work the magic from there. Um, so let's go, let's start with this, uh, the layer above that. We'll start with the paint layer. That's what I, what I, uh, called it. That's what I typed in there. So, 
Oh, first of all, now actually, actually, I got to put in the black ink layer because that was the first, that was the second layer that I did. So that way I knew what I was doing when I colored it. So there we go. So I put my black ink layer in there. As you can see, um, just stay true to the actual sketch, sketch underneath. Uh, you know, I got a little bit more intricate um, in the, the line work. Uh, and actually came out pretty good. And as you can see, like I said, I wasn't intending on, on making this uh, a full-fledged illustration because as you can see there, definitely like this point right here should be this hair, this hair, uh, this piece right here should have more of a point to it. Um, yeah, some of the stuff needs to be cleaned up a little bit like over here. That should be extended all the way out there. But like I said, I wasn't trying to, to, to make this a full picture, um, a full illustration. What I was doing is I was just kind of, I started with the sketch and I got interested in actually seeing how far I could get with the character. Um, and you know, and, and it's like an exercise for me. So basically like at this point I have my, let me zoom out a little bit. I have my ink layer over my sketch layer, which looks really good. Um, that image right there really looks really cool. I'm a really, uh, I really love black and white art, uh, especially black and white pen and ink art. So I'm a, I'm a big pen and ink person. So this really looks good for me. I'm, I'm cool with this. Um, but now a after I did the, the, the my ink layer, all I needed to do was start laying in colors because uh, it's very simple, very simple design. Um, not a lot of rendering, uh, like in a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of rendering in, in um, uh, anime. Um, certain types of anime, you'll see it, but usually like um, with animation and stuff, it's just, it, it's a lot of uh, just basic um, line work. And, you know, we put the, the, the colors in, we do some shading, some cell shading, and that's pretty much what you see. So I, I just kind of stayed with uh, the color format that I saw in the picture. So I'm going to click on that uh, first paint layer or first uh, color layer. So there, those are my, basically I wanted to put the flesh in there, the flesh tones in there, uh, the basic uh, colors, get them in there. I put the yellow in there because I was going to use the yellow as the base for the hair and then use the orange and the red as accents as, and that's the interpretation I'm getting off of the actual, uh, the actual drawing of the character. So I just laid, laid those flats in there, laid those color flats in there. I got that color in there really, really quick. And as you can see over here, I went over the lines because I really wasn't, like I said, this is this is all just me going in and, and laying stuff down really quickly, really quickly. Not, not oh, I got to go back in here and erase this. No, I'm not trying to tighten anything up right now. It's just getting the ideas down, getting what's in my head and what I, what I have in my head and what I'm looking at on paper onto this canvas. So that's the important thing right now. So I'm going to go to the next layer above that layer, those two layers, and it's going to be the orange. So I'm starting to really, it's starting to set the tone um, for the, the picture and for the character. So I'm just laying in, I'm kind of basically looking at the picture, but at the same time, just kind of freestyling it. Cause I, I, I kind of know uh, how to, how to interpret the, the, the stylings of the, 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 flaming hair and all that so i'm kind of just laying in some some brush strokes uh laying in some some color you know just 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 really just just putting it in there and then i'll go back in with the eraser and i'll just you know thin some things out you know make some points on certain things and then step back look at it see how it goes put the orange in in the eye in the eyes over the yellow because i did have yellow in there to start off with because if you notice well from what i can see the the eyes his eyes are filled the same way as the hair it's it's yellow and then you put the orange on top of that, and then you put the red on top of that, and then you put the, the little the, the peoples, the white peoples in the center. So on to the next layer. So we're gonna click on to the red hair layer, and that's gonna bring in uh, the red that I, I put in there. And as you can see, kind of really starts to, starts to, to uh, really be, bring the character out a lot. I put the red in the eyes. I just, you know, touched up, put the main parts here, and then went in and just threw some, some, uh, some really thin lines where I noticed there were on the, on the actual, uh, the, the, the image I printed out. So, and at this point I'm just like, okay, looks good. looks good. So I said, okay, now what I want to do is I want to put the, 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 the shading in there, the, the shading that's in the face. Um, so I'm going to move on to my shadows layer. That's what I usually for my, sh my shading, I call it my shadows layer and I click on that. And there you have it. I have the, 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 the shadows in the like I see in the actual image I have above ab uh, right above the eyes right under the, underneath the eyebrows on the sides of the eyes in the uh, the uh, corners of the eyes the tear ducts um, on the bridge of the nose here on the side of the nose under the lip um, and on the neck 
and this area should have been white um, but I didn't notice that until I actually went online and saw some other character uh, 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 pictures and this, that's an easy fix I can just go in here and, and just go over that with white and that'll bring that out and to like it's supposed to be um, as far as the character so yeah so and at this point um, pretty much I'm like okay I have what I, I did what I set out to do um, there's not much more I can do in this except for to go back in and just tighten up things erase do some erasing do some cleaning up um, as you can see over here I have all the colors that I used each color that I do I'll go in and I'll just make like a swatch of it and that way I can use my uh, my uh, my eyedropper to get the color the same color again and let me take um, the sketch layer out so you can see it so there you have it that's the final piece oh and let me put the uh, the whites of the eyes in there so there you have it you have the the pupils in there the little white white pupils so yeah this really came out good for like a quick maybe hours worth of work um, again I wasn't setting out to do a, a full-fledged final piece um, but I have been thinking of going back over it because at this point um, and this is what I love about digital art the beauty of this is I can either I can approach this one of two ways I can go in and I can get rid of all of these top layers just de delete all these layers cl clear them out and then just start over again and um, on top of the sketch layer with or just in the, in the, the black ink layer or get rid of the black ink layer too and just do another black ink layer or I can just click off all of these layers and just do another set of layers on the very top and uh, it looks ugly let me click that back in there put everything back in there yeah like I was saying I can just go up and I can just do another whole bunch of layers on top of the the ones the ones and take out the vis visibility of these layers and just do a whole nother set of layers and just see how how much cleaner I can make this um, and still keep what I have here just uh, you know just by keeping them keeping the the visibility off and um yeah and i can i can just stack on t stack layers on top of layers and that's the beauty of of working in digital art um you have the layer if you have the layer the layer uh uh the capabilities to do layers and you can just keep stacking on and that's how i've learned to incorporate that and to make it to use it as an advantage when I'm working instead of if I, there's something on the layer I don't like and clearing the layer out I just uh, I just um, take the visibility off of that layer because there I might come back to that layer later and might light something or I might not but I want to keep that option and I just take click off the visibility put a layer on top of it and just you know just go back over it and that saves you a lot of time like say for instance if I wasn't cool with this the black ink layer I could just like I said just do another uh, uh, I would take all the colors out and I would take the black ink layer out and I would do another black ink layer on top I'd call it black ink 2 and I would just do another layer and see how clean I could get that one and just keep doing that and keep doing layer after layer after layer instead of trying to go in any race and clear and all that just just to keep your workflow going and to keep from stop going stop going stop going you know and, and that just it helps you just to keep it keep to, to keep your workflow going it, it, it helps me like that I'll, I'll just put it that way um, and like I said, that's the beauty of working in digital as opposed to traditional, which I love traditional. We all love traditional. We all pretty much, uh, most of us artists start as traditional artists using traditional uh, methods like pen, pen, and, pen and ink, uh, pencil and paper, uh, paintbrush and, and canvas. We start off using those traditional tools, but a lot of times, you know, if you mess up, it, it, it really affects the art. I mean, you can, if you're painting, you have to go in and you have to, you know, um, I'm not a painter, uh, uh by trade but I know you have to go in there and you have to white it out and then you go back over it and this it's, it's it's a process for painting um, if you do an illustration you got to go in, you got to do white out or if you if you messed up and you there, there's just no way you can fix it you got to do another one but with digital you can just keep on just stack those layers stack those layers and just keep keep your workflow going and you can you can just keep 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 it moving like that um, and and not get slowed down in the process you know especially again with, with erasing and stuff not so much caught up in erasing just just keep moving and just keep going and just see see how far you can get without correcting yourself you know without stopping and and you know 
trying to edit too much do that when you're done you know like I said I can go in here uh, I was gonna go in after I'm done and I, then I, that's when I'll go in and clean up on the color over here and take out that that extra color that's going over the lines or I can thin out some some things I can go in and fix like this point right here on the black ink layer you know point that 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 piece of hair out you know to make it more of a point like that you know uh, yeah just all these little things like that um, so that's the beauty of working uh, in digital and you know there are cons in working in totally just working digital too you know uh, and, and I won't go into those right now but um, I just wanted to bring those 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 positive aspects of working uh, in something like this because I know um, you know I used to get fixated on trying to you know make make the perfect perfect illustration every time even if it was just a sketch and I said no nah, I can't do that and like I said with this uh, you know for me at this point um, it's all about getting the ideas out as quickly as possible you know um, yeah and just to, to get what's in my head down or as in this case you know to, to get that get the essence down along with the the reference picture that I printed out to get that down and, and to not fixate on it but just get in there and see how see how close I can get it uh, uh, in as little time you know, and I think I did a pretty good job of this. Um, I did get a lot of, uh, I got a lot of positive feedback on my TikTok account and on my um, Instagram uh, feed. Um, so yeah, so that's how I came up with this. Um, came out pretty good. Like I said, um, at this point, uh, I'll go back in and work on it uh, at a later date. I'm actually thinking about uh, making an actual print out of this like I'll go back in and clean it up and make a print out of this and make a sticker out of it and that'd be pretty cool um, yeah and uh, maybe put it up in my store for sale um, but at the moment this is where I am with this I uh, just wanted to show you guys the process and delve a little bit into uh, the mind state of when I was doing this and um, you know again not focusing on making it perfect because there are a lot of flaws in here um, but just being able to step back and say okay how far did I get? How far did I achieve what I wanted to achieve? Can I look at Can I look at the picture? Look at this, and can I show this to somebody? And they'll know. They'll know who it is. They'll know. They'll know the character. And a lot of people did that. They liked it. They said, "Hey, I, I, you know, I liked what you did." Like I said, I got a lot of comments on uh, uh, my social media accounts, and people love this. So, and that's just with me just doing a little bit of time and a little bit of uh, uh, work I did on this. So. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, questions or comments, hit me up uh, in uh, at the bottom of um, in my comment section on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you can also uh, email me at info at tjdgraphics.com. Again, that's info at tjdgraphics.com. That's my email. You can reach me. Um, also, if you want to... Uh, hit me up on my Instagram it's at TJD graphics again that's on my Instagram page that's at TJD graphics and yeah uh, hit me up go on go on my Instagram look at some more of my work if you haven't seen it go to my website tjdgraphics.com you'll see more of my artwork I got artwork for sale on there I got stickers posters prints I got an Etsy shop hit me up um, yeah just check out some of my stuff uh, you know grab some artwork while you're there support me support local artists or support indie, independent artists should I say um, yeah so yeah um, hopefully you like the video uh, I will be back in another video soon until then keep creating keep drawing don't give up um, stay positive and I'll see you in the next video all right bye